I do another what I eat in a day video. Um, it's about 10 o'clock and I'm just about to eat breakfast. So I had boiled these um, new potatoes and just had them in my refrigerator. Um, just They're fully cooked. So all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of grapeseed oil to the pan, I have a couple scrambled eggs, and it's gonna be one point. Sorry, it's like so bright over there, but here's my two point. God damn. What is with me with that stupid refrigerator? Yes, I know there's an alarm on here, but <laughs> I disabled it. So we got two scrambled eggs. These are the farm fresh eggs I got from the farmer's market. So here's my quick lunch. This is an ounce and a half of bread. Um, it's from Mariano's and I like that um, I can only buy small amounts. I know people said you can freeze your bread, but I don't, I don't like re like defrosting. I don't think it tastes as good. So an ounce and a half is two points. And then I've got deli turkey, which is zero. And then I have a tablespoon of jardinier, which is one. And then four points for the chips. Um, quick and easy because look at you there's a, a tiny bit of core and I know a lot of people eat that I still don't eat that so when I finish eating my um, apple I'll show you what's left hey guys how's it going um, now it's the cooking portion of my what I eat in a day um, love, love wontons, pot stickers, whatever you want to call them. I got these circle ones. Um, what was the name of that grocery store? It's in Schaumburg. I'll have to ask my friend Morgan. It's an Asian supermarket and they sell these frozen. So I just defrosted them yesterday. I don't know how fast I have to use them before they go bad, but, um, it's three of these is two points no matter which plan you're on. So, oh, hi, I forgot to get water. One second. Just talk about it to yourselves. It'll be fine. I'll be right back. Hold, please. Hold, please. Hi. Did you guys behave yourselves while I was gone? I, I, I heard you. Um, I also forgot my five, five uh, Chinese five spice. So basically, what we're making is these cute little wontons like that. Um, I like uh, that they have a flat edge like this because I actually fry them first and then add the water and steam them afterwards. Uh, you can throw anything you want in here. Um, I'm going to do shrimp and um, let's put this to the side. Shrimp and um, pork and any vegetables you have. I had um, sugar snap peas I was going to chop up and put here. They went bad. So I'm just going to use some red cabbage, cilantro. Um, just use whatever you have because it's zucchini, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you've not tried ground pork, it's amazing. Yes, I know chicken is free on purple, but um, you gotta get pork every once in a while. So if you don't have a food scale, get one. Uh, this is the one I have, it's the um, Ozeri. I got it in um, off of Amazon. Yep, still smells good. Um, or does that? Fuck. Oh, it's bad. I just bought it on Saturday too. God damn it. It's okay. You know what? Shit like that happens all the time. So we'll just pretend that never happened. At least I didn't put it in the bowl. So let me go throw this out. I'll be right back. So we're gonna do shrimp wontons. There you go. Um, I already sauteed up some mushrooms, uh, put that to the side. And then, um, so I'll just chop up, let's just see how many ounces this is. Um, the best part about this scale is that it um, has ounces, pounds, milliliters, and grams. Um, I'm gonna switch it to ounces. Let's just see. I just washed this off, so we're fine. So let's do, I have no idea how many wontons this is gonna make, but we'll do four ounces of shrimp. There we go. Put these to the side. 
These had a uh, tail on. Um, super cheap is to get these already cooked at your grocery store. I got these at Mariano's. And um, they're already peeled, deveined, everything. So you're just good to go. They're good in the fridge for several days after. See, I bought these on the same day. I bought the pork, but these are fine. The pork went bad. So note to self. Um, but shit like that happens all the time. So you just got to roll with the punches, right? So it's G July 1st, new year, new you. Uh, this year has like, seemed like forever and fast at the same time. I was telling my sister, I was just looking at my time PTO I've taken so far this year. I've clocked out early several times if it's not been busy or something like that. I've only had 16 hours of PTO and it's, you know, July 1st, like what? So um, I have like 23 vacation days to take until the end of the year. I think I can roll some of those over, but we shall see. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is just chop it super fine. Um, but you know what, I just, I woke up today, with, I've been thinking about it since yesterday, is that I've been doing the same shit over and over again and nothing changes. And then I wonder, I was like, why am I, why am I not at goal? I'm like, cause you keep fucking up. That's how, why? I didn't mean fucking up. It's just like, you know, if you, here's a perfect example. Back in the day when we actually went into the Weight Watcher meeting and say you woke up on a day of weigh-in and you're like, oh man, it's going to be bad. I went out for burgers and beers that one night. I maybe not didn't, didn't drink as much water. And then you go away and you lost 2.4 and you're like, oh, dang, like I could do that all the time. And then the next week you're like, well, if I did that once, I'd be happy with like a 1.2 loss. Maybe I'll do that twice and then end up gaining three pounds and then keep on doing the hamster wheel, wheel over and over and expecting different results. So it's just, it's, what it all boils down to is discipline, not perfection. No one's asking you to like, you know, commit to 18 million things and expect to get them all done because life's not like that. But if you just keep on and keep it on, um, my goals are simple. Actually, you know what I did this morning is I woke up to um, Deepak Chopra's, uh, he, if you go on YouTube, there's like a million of them. It was called uh, Morning Motivational or something like that. And um, I spent the first 20 minutes just laying in bed and it was just like an easy way to wake up to the day. And it just kind of set the tone. And then I did my Dana Eve workout. Um, yeah, I'm on week seven. Can you see the definition right here? Duh. Um, and she just came out with an exercise ball. I just got that in the mail today. Hopefully that's not a surprise that I just said that. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna add that. I know it's Asian, but I like I like cilantro and just about anything. So I'm gonna chop that up. Doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, again, the seasoning goes without whatever you have. Um, I'm a self-appointed con uh, condiment whore. I just I love condiments, uh -huh. and I can't seem to give any away. Even if I use it once a month, I'm like, oh, I need that sambal olik. Like that. So this is. Um, Thai uh, chili sauce. It's kind of spicy. I'm going to go about a teaspoon of that. Um, I'm also going to add just a touch of fish sauce. Do not smell this because it smells like ass, but it gives it such a nice flavor. Like we're talking a couple drops. That's all you need. I'm also going to add less sodium um, soy sauce, about a half a teaspoon. And then just a little bit of Chinese fire spice. And if you've not tried Chinese Fire Spice, it's so good. It's got um, cinnamon, star anise, fennel, ginger, cloves, white pepper, and licorice root. And like half a teaspoon, not even. Just shy of that. Um, and then I guess I can use my chopstick. And I'm just gonna, I probably could have chopped the shrimp a little bit more, but that's okay. I'll show you how I do the first few. So, you need a little bit of water because you're gonna ha have to um, wet the sides of this so it sticks together. And let me just, I'm doing this with the back of my knife. You never wanna do clear your knife on this side just because that dulls your knife faster. So just use the back side to kind of scrape. I have a bench scraper too, but I just, I forgot about it, it's just over there, it's fine. So, um, let me get a spoon. I'm so like prepared here. Hold on.
Okay, see that? <laughs> I still don't know who sent this to me. I've asked several times and hopefully I didn't miss it. Um, this is a bench scraper. It is amazing to clear your cutting board. Don't use your knives. This is just not worth it. So we're gonna take a little bit of the filling and you don't need a lot, like less than a tablespoon. I was the queen of always putting too much filling, like, um, like I want a really lot. And then you just dip your finger in your water, go all the way around. And then you're just gonna bring it together just like that and you're gonna cinch the sides. Just like that. And you wanna kinda of crimp this filling in right there. I don't know if you can see that. And then all I do is kinda of fold it in on itself. And sometimes I use a little bit of water on the top so it sticks. And like you could leave it like that if you wanted. Um, you could also how did I do that before? Bring this around and bring these two together to kind of make like a purse. Do you see how that is? And that can stand just like that. And now I'm gonna have a, um, a firm bottom, <laughs> if you will. Um, let me try this again without the cinching. Um, so if you guys have never tried using wonton wrappers, I also use these for ravioli um, instead of making my own pasta. Just put like ricotta and, and um, spinach is really good. So same thing, I'm just going to pitch it on that side and then I'm going to put some water and then bring the sides together. And there you go. And that also has a flat bottom so when you put it in your um, in your skillet with a little bit of grapeseed oil. Um, now another bottom. So I'm going to um, take them out, take any excess oil out, add water, and then put a lid on it, and we're going to cook them about mm, two minutes. That's all you need is just to the bottom, and they won't take long at all. Look at how pretty that looks. So again, um, I'll have the points and everything down, down, downstairs, downstairs, <laughs> down below, uh, all the specifics on what I did, but um, I did end up putting the oil back in that I had um, drained before I, I um, steamed them, and now they're super crunchy. So I think we'll have to get the, give this a taste. Done. Look how pretty that looks. Like, what? Um, so you can make these ahead of time for sure. Uh, what I do is I put all the frozen wontons on a cookie sheet, freeze it for about 30 minutes, throw them in a Ziploc bag, and it, um, they won't stick together. You could actually put these in the air fryer. You could do it in the same way I did it, is pan fry it, uh, steam pan fry it again from frozen. It'll just take like double the time, like four or five minutes longer. Um, but you can see it's got like this beautiful crust on the bottom. And everything's cooked in the middle, so really you're just cooking the one time. Oh my God, you guys. Mmm. So normally I was thinking about this. Whenever I make a filling that I use a lot of, I usually cook some off just to taste it, to see how it is. I didn't do that this time, but that's okay. It worked out in my favor. Um, if you like spicy, make sure you have this condiment in there. Um, I'll put out the specifics below around, about the recipe, about the points for my day. And um, if you like more shitty videos like this, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give me a like, thumbs up. Cheers. Mm. I need to try. I need to try the rice. Mmm. That's so good. See you guys next time. Are you still there? I said goodbye.